When I was growing up in the 1970s, I couldn't wait to get a proper 35mm camera. I had my father's box camera, I had a little Royal Diana camera, but what I really wanted was a 35mm camera. And my great uncle gave to me in 1979 a Ilford Sportsman camera. I think he had bought it in about 1958. And the Sportsman camera was, as I said, Bashed by Ilford. Ilford, a very good English film making company, making film, 35mm film, both colour and black and white, still very well known for black and white today. But what they did was they rebadged cameras made by Decora, um, German, West German camera manufacturer. And these were very similar to the Kodak Retinets and Retina cameras. This was manual focusing, a basic choice of shutter speed from 25th of a second to 200. The lens isn't too slow, it's a 2.8. Um, one of the manually, you manually feed the film in, you see a nice Ilfa sticker there. You focus, set the aperture, set the shutter speed, leaf shutter, click rind on. Well, I remember getting this camera putting a film through it and being so dis disappointed. Um, it was very grey and flat. The interesting thing is, this is the similar model camera, but obviously a, a different model, uh, sorry, a different camera than the one my uncle gave me because that unfortunately fell apart. Um, but as I said, this is a similar model, so I put a film through recently and guess what? it's pretty flat. It's okay, the photographs are fine, but compared to the Kodak, it's very flat. Um, I remember photographs my uncle took at the time and thinking they weren't bad at all. Um, but in my experience, it's a rather disappointing camera. It is a little bit artistic in some ways and the photos are slightly soft and you do get a atmosphere with the photo. So if you're looking for something with a bit of atmosphere, this might be the camera. The other thing about the camera, which is a complete plain eye thing, is to rewind, it's got no crank. So you have to rewind it on the side here. And it's just a bit of a, yes, it's a bit of a pain to do. It's not a bad looking camera and it has quite a nice case. However, it's not the most high performance camera, but it is the camera that got me started in 35mm and you can pick them up incredibly cheaply. You quite often get them in car boot sales, you get them in um, auctions. It's, they are a camera which um, appears quite often on the market, so you can go get one quite cheaply, you can have a go with one and see what you think. Thank you.